Good afternoon. Welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. This is May the 4th and we finally have sunshine. We don't have rain, thank the Lord. And it's really been a pretty day. So we're downstairs. I have a litter that I did not get on last week when they were born and they were born on the 28th of uh, April. I didn't think what month was last month. And so they're going to be a week old tomorrow. And so we're kind of get late getting them on. They never made it to the expected litter page. So it's just like, surprise, you're going to see them on the puppies for sale page. So these are Bridget's and Ziggy's. So I was shocked we got no chocolate Merle's out of this litter. He's a chocolate Merle. She's a chocolate party. I knew we were going to get chocolates. I thought there'd at least be a Merle. But they're all healthy. That's the only thing that really matters. Uh, we have two little boys and we have two little girls. Um, eyes aren't open, of course. They won't open till between 12 and 14 days old. Um, so we're going to go through. We're going to give you microchip numbers. I'm going to shoot some pictures today. You'll probably see the video before you see their pictures. Um, it's just been, I've been gone most of the day to a funeral. So I won't get them on the same time we get these. Um, video on. So uh, we're going to get started. Their tails are done. Their dew claws are done. Um, and they're doing really, really good. No issues at all. We have one phantom in the bunch and the rest I think are all chocolates. So this is a male and he has no, a little tiny bit of white on these front toes, a little bit of white on this back toe, and he has a little bit of white on this back toe. So this one's microchip number is 8998. And I think he's probably got a white strip on the chest. Yep, he does. And just a few tiny white hairs on his chin. He'll have green eyes. No, well, I shouldn't say that. Um, Ziggy has one blue eye and one green eye. So uh, I don't know. Uh, but by all rights, probably going to be all green. Um, they'll all have brown noses, and ears are completely sealed shut when these little guys are born. So those will also open the same time that the ear that the eyes open up. So let me see. Let me turn this on, and we'll see what he weighs. I'll keep you warm. Okay. So today, at almost a week old, he has ten point two ounces. And this litter should weigh someplace between 10 and 16 pounds. Bridget is not 16 pounds, but to give you a, because there's a couple bigger pups in here, I'd say that's a good spread, somewhere between 10 and 16 pounds. And they may not go 16 pounds, but I'd rather tell you that they would and then they don't. Um, these two have, this female and this male have bigger skulls than the other puppies, which usually is also... A, a determination a little bit of how big they're going to be. So this is the other male. And this guy has a lot of white on his back toes. And he's got white on both of these back feet. Nothing on the front toes. Except you need your toenails trimmed. And he has that little tiny white spot on his chest. He says, nothing on his chin. You know it. You're just like so mad. But she's a great mom. Uh, they're nursing. She takes really good care of them. This is $89.96. And it says it's... Okay, let's see what this is. This is the male. And he is 11 ounces on the button. Oh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. I you know. You're fine. All right. So on this other one, this is the female. She's a phantom. And so she is going to be a little bit different than the rest. You can see her legs on the front are turning a light brown. And she has the cross on her chest. She has the brown on her cheeks. She'll have brown eyebrows. She will also have brown in these ears when they open. And she has brown going up her black legs right to her belly. And I think she's got a little bit of white on her chest. Yeah, she does, just a little bit. And she's got a little tiny bit of goatee. Her nose is still a little bit pink. That will turn brown. It just takes it a couple, maybe a week or so to get there. She is 
9.8 ounces. I know, I know, I know. We lay it down. And this is the last one. This is the bigger female. She's a little bit bigger than this one. I'll show you a comparison. When we look at heads sizes, you can see the size of the skulls. If I can get them to hold still. Let's go this way. Let's flip, guys. So take a look at the back of their skulls. You can see the difference. She's got a bigger head set all the way around than the other female. Which doesn't mean she'll be a whole lot bigger, but I do think she'll be larger than the other one. Nine zero 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 nine thousand is her microchip number. She's got really nice dark coloring. She's got her little nose is all turned brown. No white on the front toes. No white on the back toes. No white on the belly. Maybe a little tiny. Maybe about five hairs right there. A little tiny bit of a goatee, not very much. Are you sleepy? She says, I don't care, just hold me and let me sleep. All right, I'm gonna weigh her and see what she weighs. She's 11.2 ounces. So that'll give you the skivvy on these guys for Bridget. Um, they're all doing super good. Uh, we're just kind of surprised we didn't get a Merle out of it. But uh, they're all pretty babies. I can tell by the way their coats are looking and they got a little bit of zigzag to them. They're gonna get some curls and waves. All three of these do. This one will be, he's a little straighter, but that usually comes in with anyway within the next two weeks. So I hope you've enjoyed their short video. We're going to get them back to mom. And um, if you have any questions about these guys, please check the website if you're seeing this on YouTube. Um, I think there's a waiting list on this litter. So please check down under the video that is on the top and you'll go down and you'll find the waiting list. Um, picks of this litter are given in the order you're on the waiting list. And these guys will go home sometime the last week of May. I can't tell you the exact date yet. Um, I haven't booked them in yet for spay and neuters. So I'm not sure what to tell you about go home dates. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you have a great weekend. And uh, we're almost through the week. We got one more day and we hit the weekend. So have a great day and we'll talk to you later.